I will share to you four speaking techniques that you can use while you are preparing for your IELTS exam. These four are very important thing that you will practice this at home. So let's begin. The very first one is do not memorize. Second one is use varied vocabularies. Third, do not take long pauses. Avoid long pauses. The last one or the fourth one, be audible enough. Let me explain. You do not need to memorize the answer. You have to be spontaneous as possible. Be natural as possible. You don't have to worry about your accents. It has to be clear. Why we are not going to memorize our answers? Because we will not be scored nor be assessed if it is a memorized answer. Although the questions has been repeated over time, but it is still best to provide spontaneous answer. Okay, second one is the use of varied vocabularies advanced vocabularies in particular you must show that you have enough vocabularies to discuss non-personal topics please go over with your idiomatic expressions because you can use them in this particular test the third one is to avoid long pauses of course it will affect your entire delivery or it will affect your entire answer if you will make long pauses so what do you do you have to keep practicing that on the day of the exam you will have at least zero filler used if you are not so confident about the question you can ask for clarifications you may ask if they could rephrase it for you just apologize for not getting it and they will rephrase it for you no problem you can make pauses but i call it meaningful pauses so pause or you can stall but not too long that it would affect your entire delivery so there are techniques wherein we could use some words instead of stuttering or stammering like um uh um for a very long time so if you are in the middle of explaining something and then you just couldn't think of what you will say so you could say what i'm trying to say is or what i'm about to say is that or what you may call it if you want to take a moment before starting your answer because you're you still have to think about your answer you can say oh that's a good question but you're already thinking about how you will answer the question it is important that you think while you speak and speak while you think but if you can't do it right away just let them know that that's an interesting question but you have got to think with what you will say after that because you cannot take a very long pause our last technique is be audible enough you know that this is going to be recorded so you have to make sure for marking purposes that your voice can be heard clearly it should be loud enough for the examiner to hear and that's our four techniques in IELTS speaking again do not memorize use varied vocabularies and do not take long pauses because it will affect your entire delivery and make sure that your examiner can hear you that is very important and remember that this is going to be recorded now i will talk about the assessment criteria in ielts speaking how you will be scored what are they going to look at number one they will look at fluency and coherence number two they will look at pronunciation fluency and coherence they will look at the range of your vocabularies they will look at your sentence structure so that's your grammar range and accuracy also in your explanation it needs to be clear clear and coherent explanations would be good without long hesitations so that's what we are going to avoid having hesitations in answering the test be confident you can actually correct yourself if you know it's a mistake 
go back don't wait for how many sentences you have said or how many explanations you have made and then you will go back and oh what I'm trying to say is that it rather and you're trying to correct something that you have said in part one or that you've said in part two while well, you're already in part three so in an instant once you have said something that is a mistake but then you realize it's a mistake right away correct yourself just say oh rather or what I'm trying to say is and then go ahead say it that will be good and then we have pronunciation how easy for the examiner to understand you they will not care about the accents at all please avoid being like monotone so try to record yourself over and over you gotta improve your tone so overall it needs to be a natural delivery like very conversational it's just like talking to a friend just like that but again, I've said it over and over that even though this is only 11 to 14 minutes, it will take time to practice. Some people, they don't really need a lot of time to practice speaking. They just have to familiarize the flow and that is actually perfect. But others, they're actually having hard time in speaking. So please practice at home. You can ask a family member to help you or I can have sessions about giving questions and you can pause the video, you can answer, you can deliver your answer, record your answer. That's it for our speaking techniques in IELTS and also in the marking criteria. I would like to mention this, my student, Charlene Bamiles. I got this from her again. I actually bought four because everything is just so beautiful. There are so many things I like, but then a lot of people also like them and they got it first before I did, That it's fine. I love what I got. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do visit her page, okay? Visit her page and like the page. Follow that because sometimes she will have sale, sale, sale. Thank you, everyone.